I'm Toby and this is Sea Life. Okay, this is a friend of ours trailer and they just purchased it recently, pretty cheap. But uh, it, it has issues and I was going to help them fix it, you know, I'm going to weld up some of the stuff. But uh, if you look, right down here, this support beam is ate through, rusted through. And then of course that, that we are not even worry too much about that, but that one's rusted through. This one's rusted through. And then that one's rusted through. Now, it needs, a, needs another door for this side fabricated the door is uh, kind of cockeyed got to fix that which actually it's part of this problem right down here so we're gonna have to fix that okay now most of this side is doing pretty good there's only one spot and that's up here somebody started to fix it and it just needs to be finished up right there. Now, up on top, yeah, let me go inside. So, somebody already replaced the floor, but up on top, it's missing a bar going across from right here over to this side to help support these walls. So this door does what it's supposed to. All right, and I'm gonna also add one right back here, about this far in, to support this side, even though it kinda doesn't seem like it was one there, but it's getting older and it probably needs that brace to continue on having a good lifespan. <laughs> but we just gotta come up with metal and I have some laying around here and we're gonna fix it up. We'll probably start with fixing this door back here, start from the back, and we're gonna work our way forward all the way up to here onto that far end right down there. A little progress. We've got one bar across the top at the center door. Um, I'm getting ready to do the door here. I'm going to put a center bar up at the top and then I'm going to have to um, put some metal down at the bottom to hold the bottom so that this door swings properly. And then, uh, but I am trying my best. Uh, I'm not really great at welding, but I can make it so that the metal stays very well. So we're going to try it and see what we come up with. Well, we're kind of kind of engineering this together as far as the little clamps and stuff and ways to maneuver this around is working. So <laughs> using little pieces of everything. And sometimes that's just how it works. That was the second try. I'm standing kind of back because, you know, it could be dangerous. But so far, it's so good. Um, I'm not sure if I think so. He's wanting to know if this side is moving. Not sure if I think so at all. We'll see. So he's going to try and just encourage it along. <laughs> There's a saying in the, uh, that uh, his military unit used to have, and it is uh, <laughs> brute force and ignorance. <laughs> 
gets the job done. <laughs> and quite often, I think they are just about right. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel says mostly ignorance. Woo! Well, that was interesting. <laughs> well, that's about right. Okay. So it, uh, the doors did slip off. I'm going to have to help him brace those doors up. I'll be back. We're using a lot of scrap metal that uh, came in the packaging of our saw and and some other places on the farm to help with this project. So Daniel's got this little piece welded on. He said the welds don't look great, but uh, it's sure shored up that door anyway. So that's nice, real nice now. And it, and it closes nice too now. He's gonna support the top next. He's, he's just on this. Putting these back on. Once we get these on, we can use the trim. Now look at that. Okay then. Wow, that's good to hear. On the sports, I got this welded up. I got a light bracket that I installed here. Also, this helped support that one. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Identical to the, on the other side, so that they can hang the lights from there and uh, have a place to put the plate and all that stuff. And then uh, I put the I called them band-aids, so I slid it down inside that pipe right there. So all the ones that were rusted out, I got them. And then, of course, we gotta come over here and weld that one up. It's already got the thing over top of it. it came like that. But, uh, of course, we got that welded up right there. And I put one back here also. That everything is supported really well. Here we go for my bad welding job, but it'll hold, it'll be strong enough. Next part is to uh, build a door for the back. It's going to be a sliding door, so I got to get kind of creative with that one. Got pretty much everything that I need to make it, and we'll get putting it together and see how it goes. It looks kind of reminds me of a sewing machine. I don't know why. Kind of acts like a sewing machine too. We're kind of learning as we go here. And you know what's interesting is a lot of tools like this don't come with a whole lot of instructions or, you know, you threw them out with a box accidentally or something like that. So then it, it's just miracles that happen, I think, that cause it to to be able to be used. <laughs> Somebody, Daniel's seen most every tool used, I think, that, that I can ever think of. 
um, since his daddy owned a, a gas station back when they did full full service and he was a big part of helping around that gas station. All I had to do was hold the trigger and let it feed all the way until it got to here.